Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the Red Wing boots that I wear during the summer or that anyone could wear during the summer. This is uh, a request from someone. Um, now for those of us who are watching in the northern hemisphere, we are still dealing with a lot of cold and wet and in some cases some snow. So this is, uh, these boots may not be <laughs> ready for this type of weather now, but what I normally wear during the summer and today I'm wearing the 2936 lineman with the uh, lug sole because there's snow on the ground today all right so um, what I will say of the list that I have there aren't um, any mock toes um, for that I would normally wear in the summer I kind of find them to be a little bit heavy and somewhat clunky but um, these 8137 that I have may change my mind um, once I kind of wear the sole down I may wear these during the summer, but for me, they're just a little bit too heavy, but the lighter leather uh, will definitely uh, kind of sway me towards wearing them in the summer. But I normally don't wear mock toes in uh, when it's like 80 degrees plus the humidity, 90 degrees, I am not wearing a mock toe. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I wear in the summer. Let's do it. So I have nine boots in total that I normally wear in the summer months. Now I'm going to show you um, just in a random order. There's no order of uh, ones I prefer over the others. Uh, the first one here is the 8111 Iron Ranger in the amber harness with the nitrile cork. This one I will wear in the summer months. The other one is the 8113 Iron Ranger, which I love the Hawthorne. I think this one is a great warm weather, um, warm weather leather, warm weather boot. This is the 8113 Iron Ranger with the nitrile cork. This one I've took to uh, Mexico with me for when I went to a wedding. And it was, the weather was around 80 degrees, I would say, uh, uh, low 80s the entire time I was there. So I, I took pack these and only uh, dress shoes for the wedding. So I wore these the entire time in Mexico. Um, I also, the one and only time I've ever been to Puerto Rico, I took a pair of eight inch boots and wore those the entire time in Puerto Rico. So uh, <laughs> I'm definitely uh, a boot person no matter where I'm going. So the Hawthorne is one of my favorite leathers to wear. Um, in warm weather, especially if you know it's not going to rain. Uh, coming up next would be the new Rover. I think the Rover is a great boot for warm weather. It's very light. Uh, we have the cushion sole on there. Uh, this is the uh, 2953. Um, this is the Hawthorne leather as well. I think this is a great boot for uh, summer. I'm showing you all the boots that I own and then I'll speak about some of the boots that um, I don't own that are also out there by Red Wing, but uh, first I'm going to show you the ones that I personally own and the ones that I've worn. So um, the uh, 2953 Rover I think is great. Also the Rover in the Copper Rough and Tough and the Rover in the Amber Harness are also great summertime boots. The 2951 in the black, I will wear these. I've worn these in the summer. These are actually kind of dirty. I've worn these in the summer. These are great. They're light. Uh, another option, but I wouldn't normally wear black. I would wear brown usually during the day in the summer, but if you needed a black option during the day with the white uh, cushion crepe, this is a great option. Okay, moving on to ones that I wear uh, more so than the other, than any other, um, is the blacksmith. The This is the 3341. I wore these all the time in uh, a couple summers ago. These were my go-to 100%. Even though they are black leather or darker leather, um, I wore these in the, in the city for um, auditions and um, even skateboarding in the street, I would wear these. These were my 100% go-to. The 3340 blacksmith in the um, briar oil. You know how I feel about these. I wear these all the time uh, in the, actually I wear these just all the time, period. Um, but especially when I got them. Moving on to the 8062 Merchants. Perfect summertime boot. These are light. This is uh, the olive mohave leather. Look at how supple that is. It's so soft. I definitely recommend 100% for summer. See this leather is just very, very soft and you can easily move in these. This is the uh, Kemi Gum Sole. It's, a, it's somewhat light. Maybe, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's somewhat light. But the leather, this is the perfect summer. If you know it's not gonna rain, 
definitely strap these on and these are comfortable. They have a slim uh, toe box for a slimmer pant in the summer if you're going that route, but definitely recommend the Merchant 8062 100% for warmer weather summertime boot. And then the other one is the 8061, which I've worn the hell out of as well, um, as you can tell. Uh, this is uh, the ebony uh, harness leather. I've worn these all over the city. Uh, these were my other um, go-tos when I had an audition, so much so that I needed to uh, I need to condition these because if I wear these with some dress pants, it's not gonna look so good because I've worn the hell out of these boots. But these are also a great uh, summertime boot to wear. It's darker leather, yes, um, but uh, I recommend these as well because I've worn these, uh, worn the hell out of these in New York City. And then the last boot that I've worn in the summer in New York City streets, but it is a bit heavy, is the 9013 Beckman. It's a thicker leather, uh, definitely a heavier compared to, let's say, this, this merchant here. Um, but um, this one I wore a lot as well, but I probably wouldn't wear it that much anymore in the summer because now I have the merchants and I have uh, some other options to wear um, for the summer. But these are an option. It's a lighter leather, lighter color, color leather but uh, thicker and the boot is a bit heavier and the sole is a bit uh, chunkier to wear, I think, in the summer. This is more like transitional fall for me. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. Some of the um, options to wear in the summer. I definitely love wearing the uh, Hawthorne or the olive uh, leathers in the summertime. And now let's talk about some of the other options Red Wing offers for the summer. So we're starting off with the boots that I don't own but Red Wing offers that I think are perfect for the summer and this is the Chukka. This is called the Weekender Chukka. They have the 3327, 3322 and the 3326. Now I am a huge fan of the Chukka. I've worn Chukkas for many many years. Um, I had uh, three pairs of Kohan Chukkas, three different colorways, um, and I used to wear them all the time except for in heavy snow. But um, you can always count on a, a chuck. I think they're just a fantastic, fantastic boot. This is the Weekender Chelsea that's offered by Red Wing, and they have them in the 3311, 3312, and I actually tried on the 3310, which is in the black harness leather, and I can't say I was the biggest fan of the Chelsea because I felt like it didn't offer that much support. But uh, let's say if I were going to uh, back to Puerto Rico or if I were going to uh, Turks and Caicos for the weekend, I think this would be a great boot to pack for very warm weather, slip on, slip off, um, going to the beach, slip these on. You can actually wear these out if you're in Turks and Caicos or in Puerto Rico, you can wear them out at night uh, for dinner. And if you're having, you know, just like a, a lighter linen pant, I think these are uh, great for that. Now the work chukka I think are really nice. I don't own these, but I think that um, I know when I first saw them, I sent a photo. I took a photo and sent it to a coworker of mine because I thought he uh, would be perfect match for the work chukka. I think they they look comfortable. They look like they have a lot a little bit more support than the weekender uh, chukka. The work chukka they have the 3152. 3150, 3141, 3137, and the 3140. I think these are great for the weekend, for summer, even early fall. Now we're getting away from boots and talking about the Oxford. The Weekender Oxford uh, offered it with 3306, 3302. These definitely summertime, beach, vacation shoe uh, to take with you. I'm curious if they're comfortable without socks. I would be tempted to wear them without socks if I were going on vacation and taking these with me. I really like the Work Oxford. I think they are very attractive. And uh, this is um, in the 8002 and the 8001. I um, did a shoot for a pharmaceutical and I remember the producer was wearing uh, the Work Oxford in black chrome. and. Uh, 
I would he was probably I want to say like six five six six. He was a pretty big guy, so his his shoes were maybe like size 13 uh in the work oxford but they look good they didn't look uh for as big as the boots were or the shoes were um they didn't look uh, uh clownish and so i i would be interested in um in trying these on and wearing these and possibly adding them to my collection and finally for summer wear we have the classic oxford in the 8106 8109 and the 8103 i had a pair of these oxfords when i was i think 11 or 12 and i wore them to school every day the one thing i remember about my 8109s is that they were pretty stiff and uh, it took a while to break in but um comfortable nonetheless so those are the boots that i wear during the summer uh the next video i'm working on is going to be my top seven red wing boots okay there's not top five, I had to do seven because there was two others that I wanted to include. So top seven Red Wing boots. I've already shot some of it. Uh, I need to shoot a little bit more and then I'll bring that to you, okay? So thank you so much for watching and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.